seemed to be a yeah. big thing. Sex robots, sex brothels, and all that fucking shit. Uh, we got a little. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think there's been any new new changes on that. But you know, all I can say is AI is a crazy thing, and and the closer that we get to AI, like true hardcore AI, it's going to be wild when it comes to sex robots. I know. It, you know? Can you imagine? <laughs> it really, getting, really is getting fucking dissed by a sex robot. Like, uh, yeah, you got enough, Pato, but I don't like you. <laughs> Right, I don't like you in that way. Yeah, sorry. Like, no, sorry, sorry, K Dog. Can we just be friends? <laughs> oh God, <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> Somebody goes to like, a sex robot brothel and <laughs> the robot turns nope. you down. Friend zoned. <laughs> women don't even like me. <laughs> Getting friend zoned by a sex robot. <laughs> that that is that. Whoa. Okay. Ah, it looks like there's the goals to achieve there. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit man then yeah we talked about that shit uh we got a little ballsy on our second episode and called luke skywalker a bitch yeah yeah <laughs> not mark uh, hamill no no i did get a little flack from, from some people on that one <clears throat> and, mm. and it needs to be clarified that was the character that was not the great one himself. Yeah, we love Mark Hamill. It was Luke Skywalker he was talking about. The character. Yes, I love Luke Skywalker. I love, I love, love Mark Hamill. Anytime I see him, it just brings a smile to my face. Hey, what can I say? He's that has that effect on people. Right. But, yes, I did call Luke Skywalker a bitch. And, you know, we talked in great length about it, about how, you know, I... I have a personal feeling that the the entire Star Wars saga, at least the Skywalker saga, is is told from the wrong angle. I think Leia was the true badass uh, hero of or heroine, if you will, uh, of the saga. I, I don't think Luke was the the hero in that one. Mm, yeah, I, but, I, 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 you know what? I and I think Hamill would agree. <laughs> I don't know. I, I do too. I think if he saw it and he he heard me out. I think he would be like, "Well, I did do a good job." But yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Then again, I mean, then we saw the Mandalorian many years after the Skywalker saga, and then you see Luke Skywalker just come in and tear down all that those fucking what do they call those those droids? Dark. Uh, I don't know. Dark, dark troopers. <laughs> Junk robot. That's what you're calling dark him. troopers. But and he comes in just like a just like a, any Skywalker that you would meet in the hallway, which you normally don't want to do that. <laughs> but and just fucking destroyed those fucking robots. So it, it kind of like redeemed the character a little bit, and they have the potential to probably redeem him a little bit more. With, yeah, because I have to say, I almost cried when i saw luke show up like i oh my god I, that i got so emotional when i saw that it was such holy fuck that was one of the greatest moments of tv in my life holy fuck hell yeah i mean you know it's like i said we're middle-aged nine-year-olds i was I, I was there too you know all emotion emotionally invested in this shit like like fuck yeah you know and then the face dude made when he saw the fucking x-wing shit fly by like What was his name? Uh, the guy that played Pollo Hermanos uh, in Breaking Bad. God, uh, I can't think of it. I, right. I, I never watched Breaking Bad. Oh, you motherfucker. See, that's the problem with you, man. Jeez. Breaking Bad was a good show. It took me a while to get into it because I've always been like very, you know, other than, other than the sticky icky, you know, and whatever, I've never really been much into the whole drug thing and but this show caught my attention back in the day right i remember you talking about it like dude you used to get so mad I, I, that i hadn't seen it well hey you know hey fuck breaking bad was a good show and then the spin-off with the fucking lawyer uh better call saul that that motherfucker that, that, that that's a funny motherfucker uh too bad is the the new seasons are not on netflix i don't know what the fuck is up with that but anyway <laughs> as you people know people making more money than you or me probably making those decisions i know what the fuck 
See, that's why that's why we need Shiba Inu to like go to the moon so that we can make some decisions of our own. Anyway. Yeah, really. <laughs> Oh, okay. So yeah, that was like our second episode and we started, you know, we, uh, I mean, shit, we're, di- in all reality, what, what episode are we on right now? I think, uh, this would be 91. So Ooh. 91 episodes. Yeah. Okay. I understand that there's other podcasts that churn out one every day. So while we have 91 episodes, other motherfuckers have thousands, but you have to remember, take quality over quantity. I mean, and the fact that some of those podcasts, that's all they do. Yeah. Like, that is their their job. Not uh, all, that's all they do. And <laughs> you and I... Well, yeah. That, you that, know, that we we're, work full time. We we're, Yeah, that's exactly it, you know. Your friendly neighborhood foul mouth podcasters are two of the hardest working motherfuckers out there. And not to mention, we don't have a team and, of producers in the background, you know, giving us ideas and mixing and doing the thing in the background. I mean, we record and then we have to go through all the process whenever we have time. Because, you know, if we don't do our right. honeydews, we get bitched at and bitch slapped and all that other shit that could, you know, we're not going to go into hey, details. Hey, t- talking about, talk about slapping, we, uh, we also had a beautiful episode a few while, uh, uh, a little while back. Uh that we really enjoyed where where we talked about the infamous hippo slapper. That is true. I mean, and that motherfucker never reached out to us, which is probably a smart thing. That, I mean, you know, lay low, motherfucker. Let your legend yeah, just... Yeah, don't get caught. <laughs> don't. <laughs> we don't endorse crime or anything like that, but or stupid shit like that, because, I mean, that could have been the last thing he ever did. But it did look funny. I mean, <laughs> going in there... You know, and, I... I I've always had this vision of me as like a, a 90-something-year-old old man by myself at a diner, just sitting there drinking a cup of coffee. And somebody comes up and sits next to me, and is enjoying a cup of coffee as well, and we start a conversation. And then, you know, we're enjoying each other's company, and then I get up to go to the bathroom, and when I come back, he's gone, but there's a note in front of me next to my coffee cup saying, thank you for the conversation. Sincerely, the hippo slapper. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I guess I, I'll take that over the whatever the toe sucker that's still on loose in oh, your side oh, of the neck, oh, <laughs> in your <laughs> neck of the woods. Imagine having, oh, yeah, Pato never wears sandals. The one day that he does, he sits down next to this stranger that leaves him a note. Thank you for the mention in your podcast. By the way, nice toes. <laughs> <laughs> see you tonight the toe sucker like i'm never coming to florida again never <laughs> fuck you florida <laughs> i can't shit. go over somebody would break into somebody's house and suck on their toes i can't believe some that. people would move out there just because they found out about that wink wink right <laughs> <laughs> not well, saying that you know. you, not saying that you did i mean but we all know johnny bravo's a freak Right, Johnny Bravo, you freaky motherfucker, you. Merry Christmas, fucker. Hope you're listening. That's right. We he will be. We hope so. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, man! Oh, dang. Yep, the toe sucker. I mean, well, we, we've we... talked about. We've talked about that. We've talked about a whole shitload of Marvel. Yeah, like obviously, like I said, middle-aged nine-year-olds. Hey, we're 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 waiting for the next cartoon basically to kick off and spider-man right. spider-man so, hey the, the so spider-man movie anybody spoils that motherfucker you're gonna win a chance to meet stan lee i'm just putting it out there all right <laughs> <laughs> all right motherfuckers fuck that i'm like <laughs> i'm looking forward to seeing it and, and you know i've never been the biggest spider-man fan but i like the way they've done the last one or two yeah and it, i'm looking forward to it same here. I want to see what and, everything, you know, all the hype. I mean, I know that some things are pro- probably the internet just hyped it up more than what it's going to be. But, you know, it's the kind of feel good movie that I think we need right now. Yeah, yeah, I do too. No. Uh, you know what made me feel good? Through the mm-hmm. through the, the last year or so, we, we really talked about when Marvel took over or Disney took over uh the the rights to daredevil and punisher oh uh, yeah from netflix that was a sad we talked day about, 
how sad it was because we both really really enjoyed daredevil and punisher yeah um and uh you know among the other ones i also enjoyed jessica jones and luke cage but primarily the ones that they're really t- focusing on right now are, are daredevil and, and punisher and they were talking about how they're going to recast you know due to contracts or what that whatnot they have to recast those characters yeah but because of everybody throwing a shit fit and just going to war you know via via petitions and you know podcasts talking about it and, yeah. and you know the internet blowing up and different blogs and whatnot I, I i firmly believe that that's the reason why we got the news we did the other week or what was it last week that kevin fahey confirmed confirmed hmm. that charlie cox will be returning as daredevil in the mcu boom Wow, you know what? I like to think Ooh, that yeah. I like to Ooh, think yeah. that we had a little bit, you know, a tiny little percentage of that, you know, to do with that. That we did our yeah, part even too. Point, point one, point zero, 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 one. Like we were the Shiba Inu. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> Fuck yeah! It, like our point zero, 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 one percent, but at least we had something to do with the fact that that this happened. I like to think. Yeah. Um, Holy fuck! Because we were part of the we were part of the group that that spoke out like this was a unanimous thing, and, and we said no. This there's a, it's very rare that we get a character portrayed by a man so well that the, the kid US, like everybody speaks fuck, out yeah. at, at one unanimous decision. The kid was born to play Darede- Daredevil. Charlie Cox. I mean, they, I I couldn't see anybody else. I mean. I know that as actors, they don't like to be, what do they call that, typecast, you know, because they want to play other characters eventually, you know, expand their right. abilities. But damn, I mean, he can offer so much right now. You know, right now that he's young, he can, you know, bring their devil to life in such a way that I don't think anybody else can. Right. I love it. I love the way he performed it. I love the way he, he what the depth he gave to the character, the, the human side he gave. I mean, it was just... So good. Yeah. So, spe- well, speaking of that, yeah, have you yeah. been keeping up with Hawkeye? Okay. So have I you? just finished episode five last night. So well, speaking of Daredevil, I mean, we're not going to spoil it because, well, we shouldn't. But then again, it's the end of the year. But something happened there that connects yeah. the Daredevil yeah. world to this hawkeye series. yeah and i'm i'm hoping that 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 might be the way they take it holy I'm, fuck. I'm ho- i i saw that and i was like holy shit this is going to be interested if you haven't watched it watch it i mean we're not we're not gonna sit here and spoil it i mean although you know I- no because it's still pretty new like it just came out last week yesterday um yesterday i'm surprised that but- we're actually both on this motherfucker usually i'm a week behind or you're a week behind yeah, no, oh I just I just watched it last night. Damn. Yeah, when I saw then, that, I, I, when, when does the when does the new one come out? Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Okay. Somebody had told me it was every Friday. So used to and be. And when I started watching it, it was like mm. last week. I started watching it. And yeah, I, I think I caught up all, all five episodes. I think One Division was one of those uh, every Friday things, and then uh, with Loki, right. they moved it to every Wednesday, and then from then on, it looks like uh, Wednesday has become the release date for the the little series and mm. holy fuck that was that was amazing like i said it it it, gave, it it was rewarding i mean it was one of those things where you know it's been a fucked up year but you sit down watch something that you know that it, it it's interesting because hawkeye it's just the guy with the arrows it's not the the avenger with the power suits or with special abilities it's the batman of the avengers yeah the one you with know, no superpowers I, I was a little nervous when the, i when i found out they were doing a hawkeye show uh not because i didn't like the character i've always loved the character but i just was worried about how the, the direction they were going to take the show yeah and i have got to say i really have been enjoying this show i have really really been enjoying it i enjoy the the human aspect that they're really giving hawkeye I, I really, really like it. You, you know, know. Uh, you know, he's becoming one of my favorite actors. 
it, it's a complete contrast to Loki. Yeah. You know, Loki was very self-centered, very, uh, and, that, and you know, of course, that's the character. 